Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about the essential apps that you should have in your store to make sure that your Q4 goes as smoothly and as profitable as possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so I have the store here and uh, this is just a test store where I've installed some of these apps so I can show you guys how they work and how to set them up and why I think each one of these is important. But before we get into the apps, I wanna give you guys just an overview of why I've chosen these apps and why these apps in particular are important. Now I haven't got every single app here that you could have, there are more of them and there are alternatives to the ones that I have here. But the ones I've chosen are the ones that in my opinion are the best in their category. And these categories are the most essential that you need to have in place when Q4 comes around because Q4 is all about having your back end in place. So when Q4 comes around, what you should worry about is making sure that everything is going smoothly with your back end so you're not losing money in any particular part of your funnel, that you're not thinking that you're profitable and then you turn turns out you're unprofitable because you're not keeping track of your numbers, um, that you don't have a good currency converter so people from different countries are just bouncing off and you're wasting money um, to also very important to make sure that your funnel is very good so you can have good upsells and good cross sell that is essential guys if you're not doing that in q4 if you don't have a good funnel with upsells and cross sells you're making a huge mistake you're losing a lot of money because of that um also very important after iOS 14, most people tend to have some issues with tracking all their data. So it becomes very important to have a tracking app. So a third party app that will improve your tracking data, replacing the Facebook conversions API. We have one of them in there in here as well. And of course, your email marketing. Bear in mind, guys, it's very important if you're going into Q4 that you have good email flows in place or else you're just going to be leaving money on the table. Okay, so we're in the computer here and we're going to go over these apps one by one. The first one is Ali Reviews. So if you go here to Shopify App Store, you look for Ali Reviews, you can find this app. Now, there are a lot of reviews apps that you can use, but I really recommend this one because in terms of the pricing structure and what you get for the price, the ease of use, the display, which is very nice. Also, it includes review requests via SMS and email make sure that your app whichever it is if you're not using this one it has review requests this is so important because this is essentially how you get organic reviews right when you start launching a product you're going to be depending mostly on the reviews that you get from aliexpress or from other platform but um, as soon as you start selling you want to start getting reviews from your real customers so you will start phasing out the aliexpress reviews and making sure that your website has um, real reviews from your customers and the way you get them is with these apps so if you don't have an app in place uh, people are not going to leave reviews it's going to be very rare that you get a review so make sure that you have an app that can get reviews by sending emails and sms to people that buy from you so they will come back and leave a review now there's a good thing to do with these apps is that you can offer a discount code so you can ask people for a review and in exchange for the review, you give them a discount code. This works very, very well and it's very important. So you can start gathering all these reviews, all these testimonials, which will improve the trust that your cold traffic is going to have when they see your website for the first time. So here, the reason I chose this app is because I'm just showing you here how the display looks. It looks very, very nice. Um, it doesn't have any sort of invasive branding from them or anything and um, it has very useful analytics and all of that so yeah this is the app that I would recommend I used to recommend looks but right now I think this is probably the best so let's have a look here um, and how to set it up it's very very straightforward if you click the app it's gonna ask you if you're doing drop shipping or not you can click drop shipping and then it gives you everything with a very quick and easy setup. You just get in there and you're pretty much ready to go. You just have to get the reviews and then here you're going to set up your SMS campaign and your discount widget. So this is what I was talking about. 
very, very useful to get reviews because you send SMS and emails out with um, a discount. And you can also increase the discount if they add a photo to reviews because most people are not going to give photos on their reviews unless they have an incentive to do so. So this is one of the reasons that this app is so good because it allows you to set all of this very easily so you can collect reviews very efficiently and also display them on your website and their payment plans are also pretty, pretty cheap. So the next app that I want to talk about is a very obvious one. I hope you guys have this already, but if you don't, um, here's the quick mention, you know, you don't have to use this one. You don't have to use a currency converter bear, but there's a few other good currency converting apps out there. Make sure that you're using a currency converter because if you're not, you're just hitting your conversion rate for no reason. Essentially, these currency converter apps are really cheap and a lot of people that come to your website. And if they're, for example, not from the US and you have your prices in US dollars, that is going to be uh, a lot of customers that would potentially convert and just won't convert because the currency is different. So the reason I've chosen this app is because this one in particular has a very important feature, which is this here. Um, a lot of people get confused because the currency converting apps generally don't have access to the checkout. The checkout is managed by Shopify. So when you go from the cart to checkout, the currency is going to change. Let's say your customer is in Canada and the currency converter is showing him the price in Canadian dollars, but then your store is in US dollars. So in the cart, they will see Canadian dollars and then they go to checkout. And when they reach checkout, they see US dollars and they're going to be confused and they're going to think that you've increased the price or that you're scamming them or something. So what this app actually does is it shows a message on the cart page saying we process all orders in shop currency while your cart is currently displayed in display currency, your checkout will use shop currency. So what this is going to look like is, for example, let's say your customer is in the UK, we process all orders in US dollars, while your card is currently displayed in GBP pounds, you will check out using US dollars at the most current exchange rate. So this really helps decrease the people that will bounce off your card and will increase the number of people that actually continue to initiate checkout just because of this they won't be confused by the different currencies so this is essentially why i really like this app now in terms of the setup the setup is very simple very straightforward it's a very simple ui the only thing that you need to do is choose the layout that you want you choose the positioning make sure that your currency converter is not going to show like uh, for example bottom right let's say and you have a sticky add to cart right here and then this is covering the sticky add to cart make sure you check that on your phone to ensure that your currency converter is not going to be on top of something important like your add to cart button or something like that also you can choose the currencies that you want to use so you can at any currencies that you have here you can do um you can customize the text color background color all of this you can round the prices which is also a very good feature so for example if your price in us dollars converts to gbp and in gbp it looks something weird like 32.54 this is going to automatically round it so it looks more coherent in the foreign currency or in the currency that is different from your store currency Here's the cart message. So it's pretty straightforward, very easy to set up. I definitely recommend that you have a currency converting app like this one. So the next app that I have here is Clavio. I'm not going to go in detail into how to set up Clavio. I'm just saying that you should definitely have an email marketing app in place and you should have at least the basic email flow set up correctly. We'll make a video in the very near future about how to set up email marketing, but for now just have at least a welcome flow also make sure to have an abandoned car email flow that is the single most important email that you can have because you need to message people that abandon the cards before they buy a lot of these people just forget to buy because something comes up and they actually want to buy and you will be amazed at the amount of money that you can recover just with a simple abandoned cart email flow this single email flow is the most important that you can have in your store so make sure that you have an abandoned cart email flow set up then you can have other email flows like some value emails to tell tell your customers about your products give them some value within the same niche 
Um, also, reacquisition emails are very good. So emails that are targeting people that have bought from you a while ago, but didn't come back. These emails are going to be very useful for people to remember your store, to maybe see some new products, to get people back to your store, or maybe even just to give them a discount and get them to come back and buy something else. So moving on from Clavio here, I'm going to talk about this one next. So this is Proveway Uptrack. This is an app that is meant to um, synchronize your tracking numbers automatically to PayPal and to Stripe. So it's very simple to use. You just install it and then you connect your PayPal, you connect your Stripe accounts in here and um, it's going to automatically synchronize the tracking numbers from your store to your PayPal and your Stripe as soon as your orders get fulfilled. This is very, very important because especially during Q4, you're going to have bigger volumes in your orders and if your account your paypal account doesn't usually have this kind of volume and it increases very suddenly paypal is going to start holding your money and one thing that they always recommend that you do to have your funds released faster is to synchronize your tracking numbers so make sure that you have an app like this in place so your tracking numbers get synchronized automatically or else this is a tedious task it's going to take an enormous amount of your time and you really don't want to be doing manually especially if you're doing a lot of orders now the next app is B Profit, the profit tracker. So this is the best profit tracking app that's out there right now. Um, for all of you guys that were used to using Lifetimely, I used to use Lifetimely. It just misses a lot of features and this app is the solution. So this app is a very, very good profit tracker. Um, I'm going to show you the app right here. Essentially what it does is it allows you to synchronize all your advertising costs, all your cost of goods, all your fees. So everything, every single expense that you have, you can put it in this app. And this app is going to calculate everything once you put in your costs. And it's going to tell you daily how much you spent, how much you made and what is your net profit. So every single day you will have an automatic report of your cost of goods, ad spend, other expenses, refunds, you know, everything in real time gets updated in the app. And you can even do custom shipping prices. You can update your prices from a CSV file. It integrates with AliExpress. Even if you're using AliExpress, it has an extension for Chrome that can just get your order costs from AliExpress and use it as your cost of goods on the app. So it's very, very useful. And uh, yeah, it's just the best app that is out there right now for profit tracking. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend that you have one of these in place during Q4, because if you don't, um, you know, you, you risk either you're doing everything manually, you know, you're doing your accounting manually, which is going to be very, very time consuming, or um, you might not um, be able to track exactly how much you're making every single day, which is very detrimental, of course. Now, the last two apps here are the ones that I consider absolutely essential, especially during Q4. So the first one is Zipify. I'm going to show you Zipify right here. Now, this is an upsell app that works for post-purchase upsells and pre-purchase upsells. And this is absolutely essential to have during Q4. If you don't have an app like this in place, you're making a huge mistake because if you're scaling in Q4, you're going to have a higher volume of people coming to your website. And if you're not extracting every single cent that you can from your audience, you're just wasting money because you're paying for advertising and you're not making the most of the traffic that you get from your advertising. Upsells on the add to cart button. So pre-purchase upsells do work very, very well. But my personal favorites are the post-purchase upsells because they do not interfere with your funnel in any way. So they only show up after your customer has already bought your main product and they give you a chance to offer another product or even more of the same product at a discount. So this is how you set it up this screen right here. This is exactly how you set up the app. There's the cart here and then you can choose what you want to offer when they click add to cart and then there's the checkout and you can choose what you can offer after the checkout another very good feature of this app is that you can do split testing so right here you see 50 percent, 50 percent. so you can test one product against another 50 percent of the times 
product one is going to be displayed the other 50 percent product two is going to be displayed and then whichever gets accepted the most is going to be the most successful and you can just after a few days look at the numbers see which upsell people are accepting the most and go with that so you can split test your upsells also one very important thing with this app and this is the determining factor for me to choose this app over another app is that the checkout is automatically integrated with shopify and your payment methods so what usually happens with upsell apps is that people get offered the upsell and then if they accept it they need to go and do the checkout again so they have to enter their payment details again and this gets people to bounce a lot more and give up on the upsell whereas with this app if you click um, to accept the post purchase upsell it's going to charge the customer automatically without them having to re-enter their payment details because it is integrated with paypal and stripe and shopify payments and most of your payment apps okay so the next and final app that i want to talk about is trackify you should definitely have trackify if you're struggling to have all your purchases tracked especially if you're going into q4 again getting higher volume and you don't know exactly what's going on you don't know which interests which ad sets which audiences are working the best and you're just essentially flying blind if you don't have an app that will increase your tracking in case you're having tracking issues after the ios 14 update so what trackify does is it replaces the facebook sales channel the conversions api on the facebook sales channel so if you have uh the facebook conversions api i'm just going to show you here real quick what you should be seeing is this and if you have the facebook sales channel um, and it's not working, you're getting untracked sales. What you need to do is you need to just go to apps and you delete the Facebook sales channel. We won't need the conversions API. We just get rid of it and we install Trackify. So Trackify replaces the conversions API. It still communicates with your ads manager. So you don't have to check your ads metrics on a different place. You just check them all in your ads manager but it's essentially a better conversions api than the standard one with facebook they've also added a new feature recently which is the server side api which is very very useful the server side api is essentially a way to communicate between shopify and trackify and facebook directly bypassing the restrictions that were imposed by the ios 14 update and so giving you the best possible track data that you can get from facebook ads so when you install trackify make sure you go to the option that says pixel engine and then edit your pixel and make sure you tick the box that says server side api enable because this is what's going to help you increase your conversion data and make sure that you don't miss any purchases on your ads manager so that's it for today's video these are the apps that you should make sure that you have in your store so you'll be ready for q4 and to make sure that your back end is doing a good job of keeping your numbers in check not losing any money your funnel is well built and your tracking data is reporting correctly to your ads manager I'll include links for all of these apps in the description. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.